For the children to be able to create their own stories, they need to understand that there is a fundamental pattern in all narratives. This pattern can be explained visually as a story mountain. The basic pattern is each story has an opening where the reader is introduced to the character and the setting. There is a build up. Some events occur. The characters begin to do something. The problem. Something or the other goes wrong. Resolution. The problem is sorted out. The ending. The end which usually draws out how the situation has altered since the opening. Let us look at a simple example of the story mountain in action. In CYC, was a happy-go-lucky spider. Incy-wincy the spider climbed up the water spout. However, down came the rain and washed poor Wincy out. However, the sun came out and dried up all the rain. So Incy-wincy spider could climb up the spout again. We can also engage the children by looking at the simple and familiar fairy tales. For example, there lived an old man and an old woman who longed for a child of their own. The old woman decided to make a boy of her own using gingerbread. However, when the gingerbread man came out of the oven, he started running. He would not stop running and very soon the old man, the old woman, the farm animals like the horse, the cow, the pig, the dog, the cat, a little boy and the little girl were all running after him. However, the gingerman, gingerbread man came to a river. He did not know how to swim and he met a clever old fox. The fox convinced him to sit on his back and in the end, the gingerbread man was eaten up by the fox. This story mountain acts as a structure and can be used as a form of planner. Once the children internalize this pattern, they can be given connectives to add structure to the writing. For example, once upon a time, one day or when, suddenly, So, as soon as, and finally. As the children become more familiar and experienced with the pattern, encourage the children to make their own story.